wars and rumors of wars this is somewhat of a complicated video please watch until the end on april 26 2022 at 5 28 a.m i sat down to read my bible i heard great conflict I went to pray about it but was stopped with many nations I went to pray about it and was stopped again with it is coming world war three this is what I heard and even went to pray about it while hearing it. A day or two later, I had a vision of a pencil and the number two. Then I don't know, maybe a week or so later, I heard the father himself say to me, nobody can take you out of my hand, not even you. Then maybe a week or so after that, I heard again from the father. I heard, do not lean on your own understanding. I have had a previous experience before of hearing from the father. I had heard him say, was the death of my son not enough for you? When you hear from the father, you know it is a father. You know. Problem with this was that there was a date attached to it. I do not like giving out things have dates on them. I heard what I heard though. Now, as you can see, June 26, 2022 came and went, and nothing happened that we might say, yes, we are in World War III. This was very much not a good time for me. Didn't want to be a false prophet or mislead others. Yet I heard what I heard. What if what I heard actually had happened, and I didn't tell anyone. Today is July 13th. Actually, it's July 15th now, 2022. I went through a lot to get to this time. One of them was that I got a cold and was laid up somewhat for that, and the other was my struggle with what happened. And then there was the Father's words. What I heard from him is scriptural. John 10, verses 27 through 30. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them life everlasting, and they shall not perish forever, and no man shall pluck them out of my hand. That which my Father hath given me is greater than all, and no one can snatch them out of the hand of my Father. I and the Father are one. Proverbs 3 verse 5 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Matthew 24 verses 6 through 10 and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be pestilences, and famines, and earthquakes in places. Now all these are the beginnings of sorrows. Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall put you to death, and you shall be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be scandalized, and they shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. It's not about I heard nation conflict in World War III. It's about the rumors. It's of others saying World War III. The date thing, I think, has to do with others maybe saying where we are and or what will happen. And it also comes to mind World War Three in the conventional sense of what we're used to, like maybe bombs already coming down on us with the media. How much would the media tell us as a people if we're at World War Three? Well, there are some instances. This is from Redacted. The title here says they're pushing us towards World War Three with these moves. Redacted with Clayton Morris, and that's his wife, and forgive me, I don't recall her name. This is the real GS News. This, what you see there is taken off of One News 24 7 or dot GR. You can get that on Microsoft Edge. It's, it would need to be translated and Google would do that for you. It says here, then the president of Serbia emphasized that the war raging in Ukraine is neither regional nor local, but global. The conflict in Ukraine is a world war where the West is fighting Russia through Ukrainian soldiers, the Serbian president told Pink TV. This is off of RT. Ukraine conflict is already a world war. Serbia. The entire Western world is fighting Russia via Ukraine, Alexander Vucic has said. The Ukraine conflict is in fact already a world war, given that the West is fighting Russia 
via its proxies in Kiev, Serbian President Alexander Vucic told local media on Wednesday, We should understand that amid the world war, because all the talks that is that it is a regional or local war must be dropped. The entire Western world is fighting against Russia via Ukraine. It is a global conflict, he said in an interview with Pink TV. The president said that the ongoing global war is what concerns him the most, and in his view, it will only get worse. He also added that the conflict in Ukraine is taking its toll on the Balkans, reiterating that Serbia will do its best to keep the peace in the region. This is from Yahoo News. Lately, there has been stuff put out about what to do if a nuke hits New York. Get inside. New York City ad on surviving a nuclear attack raises eyebrows. This is from Newsbreak.com. Russia in world war with Western nations, Putin ally says. Russia is in a world war with Western nations amid Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Serbian President Alexander Vucic said on Wednesday. So it's the same Serbian president. Uh, during a press conference last month, Vucic also claimed that many European Union states are in a direct war with Russia. At the bottom, it says Russia's special operation in Ukraine has ended in a sense that a real war had started. World War Three. host Olga Skimbiva said, according to a segment shared by the Daily Beast, Julia Davis, on June 1st. So, we have wars, and we have rumors of wars. Looks like what I heard actually did come true. This verse comes from when Nathan the prophet tells David that the Lord will raise up Jesus. This verse gives praise to the Lord God. I want to include it here with praise for our Lord God. It's from Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 22. Therefore thou art magnified, O Lord God, because there is none like to thee. Neither is there any God besides thee in all the things that we have heard with our ears. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to give you a bit of the gospel here. John three sixteen through 18 For God so loved the world as to give his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him may not perish, but may have life everlasting. For God sent not his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world may be saved by him. He that believeth in him is not judged, but he that doth not believe is already judged, because he believeth not in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Romans ten eight through eleven. But what saith the Scripture? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. This is the word of faith which we preach. For if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God hath raised him up from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart we believe unto justice, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the Scripture saith, Whosoever believeth in him shall not be confounded. After we are saved, we are worked on unto sanctification. Believe in the Lord. He loves you. And I love you too. God bless you.